What's that straight up ahead? Various, various size uh, pieces here. Is that a starfish? It might be it some hard, like hard ground underneath. If we could zoom in on that and get a speed grab. Looks like a mottled sea star. Oh, no. It's a Velcro sea star. Another one in the back there. Oh, yeah, there is. So, Orthosterius ferrari. Maybe. That's great, thanks. Can we get our photo? Yep. Can we hold position, please? You want to zoom in on that? You bet. Yeah, it could be a gastropod burrowing in to create uh. a hole that size. Or it's a little big for a tube worm. So sea stars have uh, eye spots on the tip of each arm that are light sensitive. So they're, it's really reacting to the change in light. And again, this is a fish-eating or Velcro sea star, Orthosterius. Really incredible high-def footage there. You can see all the tube feet and the spines on the back. Does anybody know what those pink things are in the upper part of the screen? Um, I can't really tell. Yeah, I can't tell from this footage. Yeah. They seem to have kind of fallen. Yeah, it's interesting they aren't covered in any sediment, <laughs> though. It looks pretty recent. We may need to stop the ship if you want to do that here. We should yeah, probably I wait think for a larger one, do you think? Uh, find a place where there's some interesting biology uh, here and stop it and uh, take a oh, view. Oh, could that sea star that we're going over right now? Bridge nav. It looked like it was missing a leg. Yeah, yeah it if did. we could get a picture of that. I'm sorry, was it back a little ways? Yes. Yeah, it was just back in your right-hand corner. I see oh. only three legs. Yeah. But it's regrowing a leg. It is. So that could mean it got chomped or... Looks like it's growing back both legs. Yeah, both legs are coming back. It's a good sign of health. Oh, sea cucumbers rolling. Oh, here's a starfish. You want a shot of him? Yeah, can you quick do a screen grab? Zoom in. We're wondering, uh, is the sediment something we would see year-round, or do we know if this is something seasonal? or? It looks like it's been accumulating for some while, but we are also in a time where upwelling is starting to occur, uh, zoom in again, Dave. which would be zoom increasing. In. Based on how many detritivores we're seeing, I, so are you setting down I, I would think that um, this is a cumulative. Yeah. You'll never, you'll never get a steady shot floating. OK. OK, that's great. Thank you. Yeah, this is an area rich in upwelling seasonally, but year round, the water is full of life. Cover. Look at all these rockfish. So these copper rockfish. There's and a rock. And a rock. And we saw a yellow tail, but the copper rockfish, as well as the yellow eyes that we saw a couple days ago, those are both federally listed as threatened species in Washington state. Are those little pheronids, or what are those little? I think they're zoanthids, but zoanthids. I'm not positive. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Looks like there's a the little crinoid. Mm -hmm. Some bivalves. Mm-hmm. And are those some, some sponges, too? Yeah, some little encrusting sponges and some stylasterid. Coil corals. Those are the little branchings? Yeah. 